Today's recap of Top Chef. Last time Eric packed his knives and goad. Goad? <laughs> With his soggy doggies. Soggy doggies. Okay, everybody's kind of pissed that Zoe and Jen are a couple. They feel they have an unfair advantage in the game. They're trying to keep their distance, but obviously... They have to touch. No! <laughs> it's time for the quick fire. Daniel Blood. Daniel. Oh, sorry. It's French, you know. And he's a boy. <laughs> So if you don't know who he, who he is, just leave. Some of them kind of <laughs> no, looks like some of them looks like they didn't know who he was. All right, Padma. All right, so yeah, he's one of the best French chefs in the world, by the way. Yeah. They have to create a beautiful vegetable plate and use three techniques that will impress Daniel. Okay, so Richard and Ryan have actually worked with him or for him before in some of his restaurants or any of them. Yeah. But not for very long, and he's not going to show bias toward them. It will not affect them. Right. any of the competitors. You got 30 minutes shopping up your knife skills, Yeah, kids. show some knife skills. And they had, like, a basket full of ingredients that they could right. use, and then they could use whatever was in the pantry. Right. So, yeah, they were all chopping away, some better than others, some, yeah. you know, very impressive. He really wanted them to, like, take five minutes and make a plan first. It's always a good idea to have a plan. It is. So the bottom three were Nikki, the Andive boat. Come on. Anybody can make a boat out of a little leaf. She didn't even use spices when Ugh. she grilled. No. Wrong. Lisa, too basic. It was uh, Knife Skills 101. Yeah. And Manuel, Manuel level one Sorry. techniques again. So the top three, Zoe with her poached egg plate with the vegetables. Yeah, nice. she made like a salad and then like poached it. It was very well seasoned and delicious and beautiful presentation. And then Dale, he had a plan and he showed some crazy knife skills. Yeah, I think they called it Tornade. Yeah. Where he uh, cut around the cucumber and made, you know, it was It was like crazy. a little wrapper. Yeah, it was amazing. So Richard, very simple. When I saw his simplicity, I thought, oh man, they're going to tell me. I him loved his presentation. This is too much. It was like... Yeah. Like, down a line. It was like, I, oh. Yeah. But they, <laughs> just uh, turn it the other way and be like... <laughs> well, Dale won. Yeah. But just for the tornado, he should have won. He, he was very impressed by that. So was I. I don't think I could do that. No. It's difficult. Yeah. Even with the sharpetiest knife. Yes. So he would win... He won immunity for the elimination challenge. Okay. Well, here we are upon it. Yeah. You need to create a dinner where each course is inspired by a movie. Whoa. Your favorite... It was supposed to be your favorite movie. Wow. But nobody picked their favorite movie. No. So, <laughs> well, um, well, except for the two girls at the end. Alright, so you have two hours, and you're going to be in pairs. This party was being thrown by Richard Roper, hence the movie theme. Yes. And it was for Aisha Tyler. Nice. I think she was the former host of The Soup. I can't remember, but she's definitely familiar. Yes. So, Dale, since he was the winner, he got to choose any group that he wanted to work with since there was an uneven number. Yeah, so they drew knives and right. this is how the teams ended up. Right. Dale chose Richard and Andrew. Mm -hmm. They were doing first course. Right. And their movie was... Willy Wonka. Oh. Nice. I wonder if they were thinking of the original or the remake with Johnny Depp. I don't know. I would go old school with Gene Wilder. Spike and Manuel. Good morning, Vietnam. They didn't really <laughs> like that movie. They just wanted to do Vietnamese food. Because that's what Spike knows. Right. Or does he? Well, he claims to have known it. Yeah. <laughs> Jen and Nikki. Il Postino. An Italian movie. And uh, they're going to be doing a pasta. Yes. All right. So, Ryan and Mark. It took them forever to figure out what this movie was. He's like, uh, you got, you, you're going <laughs> to get your eyes out. out. <laughs> And then they're finally like, oh, Christmas Turkey, story. Duck. They didn't have it. You know, yeah. the dogs. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's one of our favorite movies, by the way. Trust me, we know the lines. That was fake. <laughs> yeah. So Antonia and Zoe. I, I guess this is like some kind of lesbian movie or something. I don't know. <laughs> Talk to her about two strong women. I think they're in love. I think I they don't said know. it was like Spanish. Yeah. I never heard of it. I don't think I want to see it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so then Lisa and Stephanie got course number six. They picked a comedy called Top Secret. I know it well. The one with the cow wearing boots. I've never seen it. Oh, it's good. We'll see it. <laughs> it's on my to-see list. Okay, so I could just turn the page. 
They go to Whole Foods and they got $150 and 30 minutes to shop. You know, the norm. Yes. So the first coursers, the uh, Willy Wonka is going to be doing a smoked salmon. And There's much more to it, well, but we yeah. don't go in there. Spike and Manuel are going to be incorporating a Chilean sea bass in their, in their little roll. Right. Then Jen and Nikki, like we said before, are going to be doing a pasta dish. Yep. Because they both are pasta makers. So that's a plus. Homemade pasta is a world of difference from yep. the supermarket. And then next up, Mike, not Mike, <laughs> Mark and Ryan, they didn't have turkey or, or duck. duck. So wow. they were like, all right, we'll do quail and cranberries. What the hell are you trying to do, Whole Foods? You don't have turkey or duck? What the hell? How about turduckin? Turduckin. <laughs> all right, so they, and they had fresh cranberries. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And... Up fifth was Antonia and Zoe with their Il Postino. They're going to try and incorporate a rack of lamb into that. But they couldn't afford very much a of it. lot. So right. they really had to, like, scale you know. back. Yeah. So then to <laughs> round it know. out, <laughs> Stephanie and Lisa. They were not doing a dessert. No. They, they just made a crumble. So yes. they weren't going to be doing another dessert. So they were going to do a beef dish, mm -hmm. a New York strip, and a pot sticker with mm. sauces. Nice. Richard Smoker, he had a great idea. He they brought gonna, the smoker from home. Yeah, do this little smoker thing, put some saran wrap over it, and let the guests right. poke a hole through it. I thought they were going to unleash the smoke it. smoke come out. Oh, it was going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. But the smoker broke like three dishes in. <sighs> Big letdown. What they have to make, like 12? Yeah, 12. And uh, so they ended up taking a burning twig <laughs> and like trying to make smoke in there. Where did they there. get that? I guess so out in the alley. like, rip off the saran wrap, rip it off. <laughs> so Saran wrap off, saran yeah. wrap off. So they were just holding the um, salmon over right. the burning twig <laughs> to get a little bit of smokiness yeah. in there. Whatever. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> they actually like that dish. Yeah, let's just get to the critiques here. Okay. So Spike and Manuel... They weren't buying those summer rolls. They ended up making summer rolls with the bass and some black vermicelli, which I'm guessing was black because of um, they used squid ink. Ugh. It was cheap. They thought they thought they, they wanted to budget? make Vietnamese food, so they picked a movie about Vietnam. And the judges totally got that it didn't relate to the movie, so they were like, "Hmm, they really didn't think this one out, did mm. they?" Ryan and Mark. Their quail spring roll looked amazing. Yes. They made it with the quail leg, and then they had the cranberries and, I guess, a quail breast on the side also, which it was really amazing. It really did look good. I was just going to grab that. I and know. And Jen and Nikki. Pasta, mm -hmm. some people liked it, some people didn't. Some people liked the rusticity of it because it felt like Tuscany yeah. type of, you know, thing, but some people did thought they it thought looked cheap. They thought it was cheap. a little too sloppy. Yeah. Antonia and Zoe with their lamb. They didn't think there was enough lamb there. It was a little too thin. And they, the way they came out and sold their movie was, oh, the colors are rich and, you Two know. Two strong women. It just didn't work with What the they dish. described was not what was on the plate. No. They loved the Asian beef pot stickers. Yes. They thought they were well seasoned and they had they came out with one sauce that they were sitting in. Yeah. And then they came and poured another caramel sauce on the top of that. Which and that was Stephanie and Lisa. Was genius. Genius. And we told you that they liked Richard Dale and Andrews. Um of course. It was inventive. We didn't say that, but they well, did. <laughs> I thought yeah, I thought it did say that, but they uh had a faux caviar which was actually tapioca pearls. Sweet. And white chocolate on the side. That's right. And it was white really chocolate. shiny and it looked good. So the top two, as you can imagine. Dale, Andrew, and Richard, and Stephanie and Lisa. That's right. They both had great concepts that were tied to the movie. Yeah. And they were inventive and they took risks. Mm -hmm. So in the end, Richard won because he used the white chocolate. Nice. They didn't want to like it, but they had no they choice. They couldn't deny it. That's right. So he had a win. So the bottoms... Get ready for some bitterness. Yep. Antonia <laughs> and Zoe. For the reason we told before, the colors just were not how they... And they, they came into the judging room with, like, a whole different story about, like, yeah. well, the two lamb chops were me and her. I and know. It was like, what? Well, I wish you had told us that before. <laughs> they were basically like, if you would have told us that before, you probably wouldn't have even been here. Right. And I'm thinking they were backpedaling anyway, so... Manuel and Spike. 
Everybody knows they were going to be in there. Yeah. They had no they had no connect to the movie. I mean, obviously it was Vietnamese food, but it's just like you wanted to do Vietnamese right. food. Right, and they pretty much said that. And they had a Swiss chard on the side, which had, like, no connection to the, um... To the spring roll. Well, summer rolls. I mean, summer roll. <laughs> yeah. Spike and Manuel were everybody's least favorite. Not only the judges, but every guest at, at the, the party. At the table. Wow. That's that harsh. is sucky time. So, in the end, Manuel had to pack his knives and goad. <laughs> <laughs> Just because... He was a little wishy-washy on the whole thing. He let Spike talk him into this thing that he had no connection to, and yeah. he was pretty much led around by a bull with a ring in his nose. So, yeah. Next week, <laughs> high-end dinner for 320. Whoa! And all of the personalities explode. <laughs> Still next week, kids. Much, Much love. love.